Hi, in this video I will show you how to drill holes in glass with a Dremel. When drilling glass we want to use diamond coated bits. These fine great diamond bits that Dremel makes works fine. They come in two sizes, one eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch. The diamond drill bit has a hollow center. This reduces the amount of material you have to remove. On the pack it says that you should not use the diamond drill bit with corded rotary tools. I think it's because we are using water for cutting. And corded tools and water can be a bad combination sometimes. I'm using the Dremel 4250 with the flex shaft to get the motor away from the water. This is a corded model, but use corded tools close to water at your own risk. We can also use these round diamond coated bits. The holes made with these will be roughly 1 8 of an inch for the fine one and a quarter of an inch for this rough one. For the water source, I use a big bottle that I poked a small hole in the bottom. When I open up the cap, water will start flowing in a thin stream. When I close the cap, it stops. The plastic container contains everything so we don't make a mess. Now we are ready to do some drilling. Let's turn on the Dremel at around 20,000 RPMs. It is often recommended to start drilling at 45 degrees to create the initial groove for the cut. And then work your way up to 90 degrees. This works fine, but I prefer drilling straight down from the start. Just keep a steady hand when you start drilling so the bit does not wander around. When you have made a small groove, it will act as a guide for the rest of the cut. Drill slowly through the material without using too much force. I like to move the bit in a circular motion like this. It circulates the water and removes debris. When you feel that you're almost through, release the pressure and drill with light pressure towards the end. It is easy for the bit to blow out on the other side, and we want to avoid that. You can drill through pretty fast if you want to. But this right here is way too quick and aggressive for my liking. Drilling like this will wear down the diamond coating in no time. One great thing with these diamond drill bits is that it is very easy to expand a hole if you need it just a little bit bigger. You can just shape the edges to your liking. If you are drilling a piece of glass that is flat, you can get a piece of wood to use as backing and drill it while it is under water. This way you don't really need a drip system. Here are some of the bits that I prefer using when drilling the different sizes of holes in glass. For bigger holes, these umbrella diamond bits work really well. They do not produce the cleanest holes, but we can clean the holes with a finer diamond bit like the Dremel 663 glass drill if needed. Here I decided to widen the hole with a coarse grit cylindrical diamond bit. When using this coarse grit and drilling glass in general, there is always a chance of flying glass at fast speeds. So I always protect my eyes with a face shield and I also use a dust mask. For holes that are one quarter of an inch or bigger, I prefer the Dremel 663 glass drill. For holes that are one eighth of an inch, I find that the spherical fine diamond coated bit works very well. I find the Dremel 662 one eighth of an inch drill bit a little bit awkward to use for some reason. And it seems less efficient and slower than the bigger one quarter of an inch diamond drill bit. For holes that are smaller than one eighth of an inch, you can use one of these bullet shaped bits. These work really well. And they might also work well for larger holes, but I only have this size. The point is, we have a lot of different options for bits. You will be able to make holes in glass with any of the bits that you see here. It all depends on the size of the hole you need and what your preference is. I will leave a link to all the different bits I use in the video in the description below. And that is it for this video. Now you can make holes in glass and that's pretty cool.